let's have a look at how we'd solve this missing number problem we've got here. So we've got two numbers missing, one in the tens column, one in the hundreds column. Let's see if we can work out the answer going forward. So the first thing we need to do is start over here at the one. So six add seven, we know isn't three, and so therefore it must be 13. So we've got the three already written in, and we have to regroup this one underneath. On our next column, we have a five and a seven. Now normally we'd just say that five add two is seven, but we've also got our one regrouped underneath here. So we're going to know that five add one that we've already got is six. So we need to add another one just here so that our number reads correctly. So five add one is six, add another one is seven. And on the last column here, we've got four add one with nothing regrouped underneath. So know that the answer that we're looking for is five. So our calculation now reads 456 add 117 is 573.